Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 35 of Wonderful Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. He likes someone else. Mm hmm You see the flower died? Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sasaru, you gotta tell her. It, it's time. I know, but... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. KG. Who's KG? Okay, well, K KG, I, I don't think KG's her boyfriend. Because she's never talked about him before. So, KG's just probably a really important friend to her. That she maybe likes. I, I don't know. We, we, once again, we need more context clues. Gotta love context clues. Oh, okay, client. Yeah. Right? Why don't you just... Oh, 
he's pretty. Wait. The dog's cage? Oh. Okay, well, but no, the owner. The owner is. Yeah. Oh. Right? Be cautious, though. You at least have to tell her. If you don't, you're going to live the rest of your life like literally regretting it all and never telling her. Exactly, which is why you need to tell her now. I, I don't think KJ going to be saying something because like... <laughs> Not my way. <laughs> Not my way. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he pretty. Gorgeous. <laughs> Well, I don't think any of those are going to work out for him. I think the biggest thing that Satoru should do at the end of the day, you be yourself. Or you buy something that you all likes or would like. <laughs> I love this art style. Um, you know what it reminds me of? The styles of, uh, I cannot pronounce it, like my French sucks. The Versailles, I believe, the, the also the remake that's coming out. Oh, I cannot wait for that. Yeah. Was it just like love at first sight? Mm-hmm. 
Right there. Right there. <gasps> you did that thing's okay! Oh, come here! Oh. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to cry. <laughs> oh, we just so cute. Oh, my God. Alright, no more tears, Deja. <sighs> I'm sorry, I did not mean to cry. I did not think that was going to make me tear and cry up. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? <sighs> well, right now there's only two.
Hey, just remember, jab, jab, uppercut. Uppercut, right? Yeah. This episode or literally this battle is just going to be Tekken in a nutshell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, did you see in that moment, like, when he ran over to her? Not only right there, he's in love with her more, but he secretly wishes he could do something to help. <sighs> so, will y'all literally just go ahead and just confirm it and make them into their magical, have them have their magical boy debuts in this show instead of just having it in the movie? Which, it's still possible. They can do that. But come on now. We're like almost halfway done with this show. I mean, it makes sense. This is her episode, so give her this moment.
Yep. Time to go home. <laughs> The eyelashes, oh my god. <laughs> All right, it's time. You gotta tell her. Go on. Come on. No! Do it right. No. May May. May May. May May. me to wait a whole week you expect me you expect me to wait next Saturday to see how this is gonna end I need a moment I, I need mm. I need moments. Give me a sec. Give me, give me, woo. Okay, this might be my favorite episode. Th really, th this was good. I love the fact that number one, even though this was a, this was mainly a little bit, like 10% focused on Evil Hud, this was predominantly a Satoru episode. And to have an episode really focused on him and Evil Hud at the same time, like th that's a 10 in my book, seriously. We, we, it's been a long time since Pretty Hair has done or tried to really do the romance aspect. Uh, besides like freaking Delicious Party, even though they did, to me, I will, I will go down that road saying the Delicious Party didn't handle it in the way that I wanted it to. Or we could talk about the one sided love of, uh, Harry and Homade, um, from Hagato and how. We all knew that wasn't going to end well and such as much as she um, fell in love with him. And the fact is that he was like, oh, I, I'm, I know of your love for me. I know that you care for me. But because we are from two different like years, we're years apart and such, we can't be together. And, and so it was just like for her at the end of the day, when I looked at that and such, I can just look at it as like, yes, it's okay for her to have a crush on him. But she can't continue on those feelings due to so many different reasons why. Now, with this, um, I, I do secretly hope that they do end up, like, having these two be together because they've known each other for, they met three years ago. 
if it wasn't for Dive Q, they, they, they would have not met. He would have not fallen head over heels in love with her. The moment when, like, when I was crying my butt off and just seeing him, like, have that feeling of love, like, I, I think for a lot of us, guy, girl, whoever, that feeling of love, whether it's your first love, your second love, your third love, your gazillionth love, the first time when you fall in love with someone, like, truly genuinely it you'll never forget that and such uh, <laughs> i hate talking about this like when i when i fell for my ex after um confessing to someone else and he thought i was confessing to him and such but when i got to really get to know my ex and falling in love with him as a person and such and thinking like oh he's so funny he's so sweet he makes me laugh um we have similar interests and stuff and everything. You could just, like, <laughs> I'll tell you a little thing. <laughs> and I hate doing it. Um, a lot of people can tell how, like, I am very flirty or smitten with someone. Especially, like, if I'm really wanting to know more about you. I don't I do not do it as much now. But, like, you know how, like, most of us girls, we, like, twirl the hell out of our hair when, like, a guy is talking? I, I, I do that. But because my hair is up, I can't do that. But when I have, like, braids in my hair... I will literally do the the twirling or like the, <laughs> <I have this> people, <laughs> stop <laughs> the things where it's like oh my god this bitch is so annoying and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, like you you will never forget like first falling in love with someone and such. And so I love the fact once again that they showed Satsuru literally falling in love with Iroha and being like I I truly care for this girl and how him saying like I love your smile I want to protect your smile that oh my god just oh my god like i i don't that really like in a lot of animes i've seen or heard something that is very similar to the i love your smile or i want to protect you and stuff and you know it, 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 it hits home it most definitely hits home and when it does it does and it really resonates with you um I, I could say, like, with most of my, like, freaking romance animes, those hit, and they hit so freaking good. Like, I I'm sitting here rewatching uh, Hori Mia, and I <laughs> I'm over here like, God dang it! <laughs> like, God dang it, it's either that or, like, uh, Yamana-kun, and just the cute little moments. You, you just can't. You can't. And you, you just, you sit here, and you're just like, I wish. I wish I could have a romance just like one of them. One of your favorite animes. Like, screw any of my, like, favorite live-action TV shows. Like, as much as I love me some live-action TV show romances and such, and the chemistry that the actors who portrayed these characters, like, top tier, yes. There's something when it is an anime couple. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter, like, age range and stuff. So it could be, like, the high school romance to the college romance to the adult romance and stuff. All of them hit in different ways. Even ones that are like, you know, the Yuri and the Yaois. Those loves also, when I watch those, those are sweet. Because like, when okay, so when I'm watching like a, um, a Yuri or a Yaoi, I take out the characters. And, and I even do this with like uh, my same, my um, heterosexual couples and such. I will take the characters out. I'll put me and maybe like whatever anime character I have a crush on. So, so forth and stuff. And sometimes those are even more impactful and stuff. I don't think I do that with like... Mm, more of yaoi yaoi when, it, when it's the yaoi i'm just like <laughs> but i do that with yuri too because i'm like ah, it's so like oh my god because it's just yuri and yaoi good it's like oh my god but no like once again i just i love love i am just very hopeful for these two that it's going to work out for them that we're going to have a couple together and if we do, I will be very ecstatic. I like that's gonna be the highlight for the whole show overall. Like we get, to, we're gonna get to the final thoughts in January or February, and I'm gonna be like, first thing, the couple got to become a couple. <laughs> like, oh my god! And then I'll probably end up rewatching the show and be like, look at the love story. It's so freaking cute. Like, oh, but no, seriously, like, happy thoughts manifesting next week that they're they are together, and that. Even if they're not, she acknowledges that he loves her. And it's just so sweet. I, I'm praying. I'm hopefully next week. I am so freaking hopeful. But this was a really good episode. Like, the best episode, truly. 
Satsuru, my king, like seriously, you drop this, you drop that crown. You got this. You got this in the bag. We are all rooting for you. May May. Next time, just shut up. I, I wish he would have just said it instead of May May over to his big fat mouth, but it's okay. We'll redeem next Saturday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode. This was 34, I believe. Uh, yeah, 35. <laughs> episode 35 of wonderful pretty cure if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all either next saturday or on sunday for episode 36 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye